2017 is definitely the years at Social Justice Warriors SJWS have been active in removing Confederate statue and anything else they seem to think should be removed from our ITS. Indeed most people are unaware that it actually started in June of 2015 right after the Charleston, SC, shooting. It was there that Dylan Roof murdered nine African Americans in their church during their service. Since then, cities across the country began removing monuments and memorial related to the Confederacy on public property. It's made that these social justice warriors believe that these things glorify white supremacy and memorialized a government whose founding principle was the Perpetuation and expansion of slavery. Needless to say that the idiot jumped on the confederate flag. To, however, everyone who did so were totally unaware, history deficit, il informe de stupid, that the flag. To which they referred with the crossed blue banner containing Star Wars not the confederate. Flag but a battle flag of the northern Virginia, everyone who is a little historical knowledge. Learn at the real flag at the star and bar. There is a difference, don't cha. No, and ever since the roof killing spray, confederate stuff asha has been removed from the site of monkey the two distant place, so what's going on here? It's called presentism, it's defending. Literary and historical analysis as the anachronistic introduction of present day ideas and perspective into the fiction. Or interpretation of the past. In other words, SJWS are removing our true history right. Before our very eyes. So here are some comments why presentism is the wrong way. To view history. One contributor on Reddit.com, a social media website, wrote, quit viewing the past through your modern eyes some time. Yes, what Columbus did to the Indians was terrible. To us, but to really measure is worse you have to ask, was a bad person by the standard of his time, you can't really apply modern concepts to past event, and another one added, history seeks understanding and comprehension, and that is best. Achieved in many cases by viewing the world not through the insight of 21 stone century. Right a usness, but by trying to view and understand people and events in the context of their own times, place, and action. What we really need to do is look at our past through the WABAC machine or Wayback machine, it is a fictional time machine from segment of Peabody's Improbable History, a recurring feature of the 1960s cartoon series The Rocky and Bullwinkle Show, Mr. Peabody and Sherman USD to transport themselves back in time. To visit important event in human history. So what's wrong with presentism when it removes history from our site, the public, and even our schools? George Santayana, a professor in philosophy Harvard, SID it best, those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it, yes indeed, can anyone disagree with him? Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily, Feature History Social Justice Social Justice Warriors We have no tolerance for comment containing violence, racism, vulgarity, profanity, all cap, or discourteous behavior. Send you for partnering with us to maintain a courteous and useful public environment where we can engage in reasonable discourse. The President's Family Asha has always been open to attacks by people who are willing to go below the belt. Especially when it comes to his wife and children. It is truly disgusting. But, the person who Asha has been targeted the most is by far his oldest daughter Ivanka. Trump who serve with a husband and advisor to the president in the White House. One person who seemingly attacked Ivanka Trump was rapé Eminem, he joined the ranks. Of entertainers such as Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Bayer of The View, a morning talk show in his attacks on the first daughter, his recently released album that came out. Friday show exactly what his true feeling about Ivanka really are.
The Conservative Tribune Reported, Ina Track Release Don Is New Album, Revival, The No 45 Year Old Drapé Calls Trump, Erian. And says it's time to bury him, so tell him to prepare to get impeached, eh. Hey. Then continue ici le WD, et je file lyrique by describant à Murder Fantasy of the President's Daughter. Ivan Trump, Donald Duck son a the ton 4 in the yard but dog out the F asterisk 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 is Ivan Trump in the trunk of my car gotta get to the bottom of it to try to solve it must go above and beyond cause it's in combo upon me cause il feel somewhat responsible for the dumb little blonde girl that mother fasterisk asterisk 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 n baton twirler that got Dumped in the pond, Ivanka and President Trump weren't the only members of the family. To get a shout out on the record. Melania was next, a air apt about. Making a pass at her. Ivanka, Steve Armour while I meet un, on Melania and these songs. For Olia, real classy, Eminem. Of course, the entertainment industry is eating all off. This up like candy, while the actual music is getting mixed reviews, the 405 calls the Trump bashing, admirable, here's the grand hypocrisy of all of this, though. In an interview, with the New York Times, Eminem takes a playwright out of the liberal handbook, and describes himself as a s tolerant, one of the grand pillars of liberal hypocrisy is when Liberals claim to be tolerant, claim conservative need to be more tolerant, but will absolutely rip anyone who disagrees is with them. So, Eminem, I have a question for you. Why? Aren't you more tolerant of President Trump agenda? If you really are the tolerant, Guy, you claim to be, why are you rapping about murdering people you disagree with? But, even more than this, the double standard in the mainstream media is absolutely obvious through this new album, Eminem talk about putting Ivanka's body in the trunk of his car. But where is the media outrage? There is none. Could you imagine if a country western singer wrote a song about tossing Sasha or Malia Obama's body in the trunk? Of his car, to be fair, it would probably be a truck, but he digress. The despicable words spouted by this rapé are absolutely sickening. Many liberals will try and make the case that this album is just art and that we just don't understand. True our families of the president have always been considered to be off limits and now should be no different. Yet Democrat and liberals have attacked Baron and Ivan Katou. Name a few the most. So clearly it is not an attacking presidential families problem. It is an attacking liberal presidential families problem. It is okay to attack when the president is Republican but you can't attack when the president is a Democrat. It's a total double standard. There should be a universal standard held by all and everyone. Attacks. Of a kind again the president's family are never acceptable and will never be tolerated. The ill reported a spokesman for Ivanka Trump didn't immediately return it a request for comment. The song is reminiscent of past tracks from Eminem, including Kim and 97 Bonnie and Clyde, in which he rapped about murdering his then wife. On another revival song, Eminem Boast. About making a pass at first lady Melania Trump, Eminem expressed frustration in a radio. Interview last month says that Trump hadn't responded to his freestyle or earlier taunt. He feel like this not paying attention to me, Eminem has a idea. He was kind of waiting for him to say something and for some reason he didn't say anything, it's far from the First time on Entertainer H.A.S. Kevert the President in a gruesome manner. Earlier this year, comedian Cathy Griffin created a firestorm after posing for a photo depicting a decapitated Trump. First Lady Melania Trump called the snapshot disturbing and questioned Griffin's mental health. Griffin apologized, but later retracted her apology. 
Last month Snoop Dogg shared an album cover that showed him standing over Trump's dead body, the latest album release attacking Ivan is just another example of how our society has been degraded. Share if you agree that this type of musical interpretation and attack against the first family is unacceptable. Follow us on Facebook. At Freedom Daily, it's already too late for some kids, each year we have that. Different toys at every kid one and is sold out everywhere, but this year that. Toy might come with serious consequences. Also tes accusations haven't been proven, a mother HS. Taken to Facebook to warn fellow parents not to buy at Shimol's bass bomb product for. Their kids this Christmas season after her young daughter was left with what appears to be first degree chemical burns all over her body. Jennifer René was in baton rouge, Louisiana. Posted what appears to be very disturbing pictures of her daughter Willow spent full looking injury. On Facebook last week, the pictures were of her daughter's distressing chemical burn injury after using the Hachimol's bass bomb toy. She went on to claim her child satin. The bass for what was only 30 to 45 seconds when her skin became inflamed. Red and painful to the touch. The mother later confirmed on her Facebook page that her daughter Willow had been diagnosed having suffered a chemical burn and not an allergic reaction as she previously had suspected. She then proceeded to call the company who Produces this product, Spin Master and later revealed that the batch number is being investigated. And will, likely, be recalled because of previous complaints. The global brands group, the Hachimold distributor, also provided a statement after reviewing the case, global brands group takes the safety of our product very seriously. We manufacture and ship millions of bass bomb and body. Ashes and Avrigoro processes in place around development and testing a well a all. Aspect of production. After careful review, we are confident who Rachimol's best product are in a fact safe. However, it is recommended that consumers be mindful of any adverse reactions they may have based on personal allergy or sensitivities. The Spin Master representative we emailed us. Allège that Jennifer Ronnie's statement that an FDA expert responded to her specific accusation in a the photo posted by her on Facebook is false and that the photographed statement is unclear and possibly taken out of context. We have reached out to the FDA consumer officer and will update this story I will learn more. Kids aren't looking for a fancy. Clo-footed bat-tube with bubbles that are perfectly fluffed just so for the gram, they're just in there to get in and get out, but many parents have a potential temper tantrum around. Bass time by filling the water with washable soap crayon and fizzy balls of soap. That turn into toys. Sadly, it's not always student smiles, I will learn it from. One mother who just issued a warning against a bass toy that allegedly gave her daughter a serious chemical burn. In the case of Jennifer René and her daughter Willow, it was a chimal that took bass time from fun to frightening. The wonder ball of bass bomb, a chimal. Like hatching animals look like a giant egg and it's that dissolve contact with. Water, hatching, to reveal a mystery surprise, usually a plastic animal charm or figurine. Also, for Jennifer and Willow, the real surprise in the Hatchimal was burning pain. Source day, Jennifer. Posted her cautionary story on Facebook, claiming that she dropped a Hatchimal soap toy into Willow's. Bass and less than a minute after touching the water, Willow suffered red chemical burns. All over her skin, PSA, do not buy this for your children, she wrote next. To the split image of the Hachimal product box and Willow's burned and followed direction. On package and placed in her bat tube, Jennifer's post continued. So it would be fun? For her because there was a toy inside.
After being in the water 30 à 45 secondes. She stated her skin was your turn upon looking she has received receive a chemical burn from a kid's bass bomb. No she was not holding it and she has received multiple different kinds of bass bomb and never had this reaction. Just a warning people, after taking Willow to see a doctor to assess the reaction, Jennifer updated her post, explaining. That the doctor ruled the irritation a chemical burn, more than just a simple adverse skin reaction. A chemical burn, a dermatologist Josh Zeichner explained it to us, is a general term that refer to an allergic irritation reaction in the skin, the common cause of the skin allergy of this type, include certain fragrances, preservatives, and the ending. The case of the burning at Chimal, Julie Monsieur Barros, a consumé safety officer from the office of cosmetics and colors sector of the FDA, allegedly responded to Jennifer's post, saying Willow's reaction was likely caused by the day. Not to Jennifer's at the red dye is categorized as suitable for externally applied cosmetics. Sink, lipstick, but it may not be USD for bass product. I am not saying. This woman is a liar. But if there were previous complaints wouldn't you think this? Wouldn't be the first time we would have heard about this? I very much doubt. Spinmaster, who has a spotless safety record and produces millions of TZ product wood. I've kept key all this time and risk multiple lawsuits instead of immediately recalling the product before more children were affected by whatever is in TZ toys that are causing the burns. Please share if you want to get to the bottom of this issue. America's criminal justice system is a finely tuned machine with one purpose, justice for all. While good old-fashioned detective work, canvassing, questioning and some time a good instant will never be replaced during investigation into criminal activity, the fastest evolving part of an investigation is the forensic science. As citizens of this great nation, we are constantly in search of a way to make sure that no innocent person is punished and no guilty person jet. Of Scott Free. However, the more sadistic and creative the criminals get, the more tedious and meticulous those who try to catch them might be. While this look like a few trip to a computer on TV show, the reality is that forensic science is a dirty business and one that most of us don't completely understand. In order to determine Things like how long a person has been dead, scientist and investigator need to actually observe a body to compose in a controlled environment, and that's just is happening at a body farm in Texas. Daily Mail reports that the boss are exposed to the elements, and covered with cash to keep scavengers of them, and while it's for a good. Cause, it's truly horrific to see, tes gruesome images show the inside of a body. Pharma graveyard where the dead are left to row in open cage. Rose. Upon row of dead boss are lined up in the metal pens in the remote. Texan field a part of scientific research in two ou corpse row. In fact, despite on ITS. Grizzly appearance, the so-called body farms actually help police solve crime by helping to determine. When victims were killed, scientists at the Forensic Anthropology Center at Texas State le University are able to use the donated dead boss and compare them to those killed in suspicious circumstances. The information gather dear can be USD in a core of law and researchers have been called to give evidence for the prosecution and defense. The boss can also USD to help with facial reconstruction. By using the skulls and images of those who volunteer for the open burial scientist can help police to reconstruct what an actual victim may have looked like. They often have worked in law enforcement so know how useful the facilities are. The composition expert Dr. Danny Westcott told CBS Austin, just like a 
Son can shoes tous bien organ d'honneur, someone can also donate their body to science after they pass on. This is just one of the possibilities for what could be done with someone who makes that donation. It's far from a pleasant sight to say, however, the work is one of those unpleasant necessities to keep crime down. Without and or like this one, the forensic department would have no way of training their scientists. To determine exact times of death which markings on a body come from attacks and which come from scavengers, etc. That is important, not only in the sense that it help bring justice for the families of those killed, but knowing that it's getting increasingly More difficult to get away with a crime, keep scream down. Behavior will always depend on its consequence, and without an effective way to punish attackers, more attacks would happen. Dr. Danny Westcott has spent a number of years leading the research of skeleton at the US University. ASID, it allows us to see how both de compose. We work. With law enforcement officials and help with the training of local police cadets. We get. Both given to us specifically to use. Living donors offer their boss a donation. We. Also take next of kin donation. We have two criteria for the boss they. Must be under 500 pound when they. And they must not have any active. Infectious diseases like hepatitis C we also accept crémin. It's NG assigned to a research project. The boss can be left out in the field for six months to a couple of years. The skeleton is then USD for further research. In fact, most of the research is done on skeleton to be a part of the body farm. Most people volunteer before their death also some are donated by next of kin. Police then observe how different factors influence the way the boss de compose. Law enforcement provide different scenarios and we look at the effect of closing and things like diabetes on the body, Dr. Westcott has a idea. It allows us to give estimation on best to the police. We can also help with facial reconstruction. Because we know what the person looked. Like before they day we can compare this with what those who draw the facial reconstruction image have come up with. We also look at the ecology side and how it impacts specifically on insects. We have scientists here from the UK because there is a demand for it. The boss have to be caged to protect them from vultures which are if in Texas at the moment we have between 65 and 70. Both, there are more men than women but we also get some couple who donate. There both, Dr. Westcott has a idea. This might not be the kind of place that you want to go on a family vacation, but it might just be what keeps the streets a little safer wherever you do take your vacation. Like many of the aspects of law enforcement, this isn't a particularly pleasant task, but one that has to be. Done if we are going to try to keep our nation safe. Acheter Daily Mail.